Well, these are the three drinks, Keith and Hannah, that 16 year old Davis Kripe of South Carolina had in two hours that doctors say killed him. Now, we don't know the exact amount of each drink or what brand of energy drink he had, but we do know it was the amount of caffeine that caused his death. Now, I spoke with Kathleen Miller from UB's Research Institute on Addictions. She's a specialist in caffeine and energy drinks and says this case is unusual. Kripe didn't have any underlying medical conditions, and Miller says most people wouldn't have died from that much caffeine. Doctors recommend no more than 100 milligrams of caffeine for someone up to 16 years old. A typical energy drink has much more than that, and Miller says they're quickly becoming more and more popular with young people. Um, the fact that most of the time we're able to use it without hurting ourselves doesn't mean it isn't a drug. It doesn't mean it isn't potentially risky. Um, and it doesn't mean that parents shouldn't be keeping an eye on, on how much caffeine their kids are taking in. Kids are probably taking in um, more caffeine more quickly. Miller says the takeaway from this teen's death in South Carolina is for everybody to take caffeine more seriously and to look at it like a drug. She's urging parents to keep an eye on how much caffeine kids and teens might be drinking each day. Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.